is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Now let me explain how we atoms bond together to form a molecule. It's just like the letters getting together to form a word. Electrons keep moving in shells outside the nucleus. Each shell contains a fixed number of electrons. The first shell can have two electrons, and the second can have eight electrons. The third can hold 18, and the fourth can hold up to 32 electrons. The atoms in the outermost shell of an atom are called valence electrons, and the outermost shell is called the valence shell. Atoms bond with other atoms to form a molecule with these valence electrons in the valence shell. Remember one thing, atoms always keep trying to fill their shells. Take, for example, an oxygen atom. In its second shell, it can hold up to eight electrons, but the oxygen atom only has six electrons in its second shell, so it is always looking for more electrons to fill its shell. Now, here is a hydrogen atom. It only has one electron in its outer shell, but it can hold two electrons in its shell, so it is also looking for more electrons. So the oxygen atom bonds with two hydrogen atoms to fill its valence shell by sharing one electron from each hydrogen atom. In this way, the hydrogen atom's requirement is also fulfilled, as they can also fill their shells to their capacity of two electrons in their valence shells. By combining together, they become water molecules. So friends, now you understand us. I am part of you. So learn us well by watching this video again and again. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <clears throat> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.